Hey, let's talk about qualified immunity. Two words that uh, hold incredible power in law enforcement. That's because it's part of a federal doctrine that aims to protect police officers and has been at play for more than 50 years. Our DC correspondent, both the Yimam, explains how this latest series of uh, officer misconduct has sparked renewed interest. And uh, both the, uh, this, this is a point of contention right now when it comes to police reform, right? This is it, Mike. It's the root of the police reform issue, splitting Congress, and politicians sounded off on the topic yesterday, pretty much took over the weekend, shows qualified immunity is a federal doctrine that protects officers accused of violating the Constitution while on duty. And supporters say it protects officers' ability to carry out split-second decisions in dangerous situations, so they're not hesitant to act. But many Democrats say it shields officers from accountability for things like excessive force, and that's why they encourage Congress to act on the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. That bill would end qualified immunity for law enforcement. It passed the House, but it's sitting in the Senate. Republicans say they're open to negotiating, but also say that protecting law enforcement is a priority. One Democrat said compromising on this issue is a matter of life and death. We compromise on so much, you know, we compromise, we die. We compromise, we die. We compromise, we die. You know, I'm, I didn't come to Congress to compromise on what keeps us, what could keep us alive because it holds police officers specifically accountable because the thing is this, if you don't hurt people, if you don't kill people, if you, if you are just and fair in your work, then does qualified and uh, do you need the qualified immunity anyway? You know, so I so the thing is, I, uh, this all of this safety net, the safety net shouldn't be there. Senator, is there systemic racism in this country in policing and in other institutions? Uh, no, not in my opinion. We just elected a two-term African-American president. The vice president is of African-American Indian descent. So our systems are not racist. America is not a racist country. Within every society, you have bad actors. Reform the police, yes. Call them all racist, no. Uh, you know, America is a work in progress, but best, pl best place on the planet. And while the fight plays out in Congress, some states are taking matters into their own hands. They're creating their own version of qualified immunity reform. And by the way, Republican Senator Tim Scott had suggested another option that may be more likely to gain support, calling for police departments to be held financially liable in civil suits, not the individual officers. But of course, you have some who are going to push back against that, Mike. Yeah, that's where that compromise comes from. We actually had uh, uh, attorney Ben Crump on talking about that last week uh, after the Chauvin trial, and he's not too keen on that compromise at all, putting the onus on the police department instead of the individual officers. So we got to get this done, right? We got to eliminate qualified immunity. Is, is this the only path uh, towards doing that? Is this the only way uh, that we can actually get this done? Well, Mike, many people might be surprised to learn that this is not in the Constitution. The only way, really, there's two mm. paths would be the Supreme Court or through Congress. And uh, I want to point out also that qualified immunity also applies to all government wor uh, workers as well. Many people will look at mm -hmm. officials like their mayor who also have qualified immunity. So this applies uh, across a wide swath of government. And this is something that I think is going to keep coming up, even if they don't get this solved right now, it's going to keep coming up. Last Last year, I want to point out around June when the protests were happening, the Supreme Court rejected hearing eight cases involving qualified immunity involving police officers. So uh, this is something that's going to keep coming up again and again, Mike, unless, of course, we come to some type of compromise. Yeah, we, we, it's all about accountability, right? Yeah, if you can't do the crime, uh, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime and don't pay the fine, And which uh, what qualified immunity is all about, you know, right. paying that money if you, and, yeah, right? Right, and I just wanted to point out that a lot of folks will say, you know, this is the only way sometimes through the civil way they can actually get any justice or compensation. Some of the victims who have been through these cases and continue mm -hmm. to go through it, to your point, Mike, they're saying this is the only way that they're going to get compensation through civil action, through civil lawsuits, which is what this applies to. Hey, we got to take away their freedom.
take away their money. And then, of course, uh, police across the board will be on their best behavior and make sure they do their jobs the right way.